I'm a very easygoing person. I'd say I'm relaxed. That's how I like to be and how I like to spend my day, both on my own and with those people close to me. I don't like to feel tense, either as a player, a person, or as a friend. Orlando is renowned for its theme parks, but in 2014, Orlando City owner Flavio Augusto da Silva added his own star attraction to his team, Brazilian superstar Kaká. I'd always talked about my desire to play in the United States. And to begin with, I was talking to Los Angeles and New York. Then one day, I was chatting to a Brazilian friend, Alexandre Letal, and told him I wanted to play here. And he told me there was an opportunity to start a franchise here through another friend of his, Flavio, who now owns the club. I've always come to Orlando a lot because of the parks, so it's always been a city I've liked. But what makes it really special are the people. I think that's what makes the club special too. So it wasn't just the Brazilian owner that I already knew, but the vast majority of people that work at the club as well. Kaká began his career at Sao Paulo, and it wasn't long before he was pulling on the sacred yellow jersey of Brazil. Playing for the Brazilian team and representing your country fills you with pride. For the first time I stood there wearing that shirt, hand on my chest, singing the anthem, it was very emotional. At my first World Cup, I was one of the youngest players on the team and we became champions, so it was fantastic. Becoming a champion in 2002 was something very special. After that, I took part in another two World Cups and in many other competitions. It's really great to represent your country, and I'm very happy with the history that I have with the Brazilian team, the titles, the goals, and the part that I played. I'm really proud and honored to have been part of a team as important as Brazil. In 2003, Kaká left home to join Italian giants AC Milan. Over the next six years, he would compile one of the most highly decorated resumes in the game. First day I arrived with this guy, no one knew him. First game uh, in a training session, I played against him. I was, uh, no, fast, fast, but fast. Okay, I give the, to play lateral, in one second in sprint, uh, kill me. And that month, say, oh, wow, who is uh, this young guy? And uh, in uh, three months, he was uh, the star uh, of, the, of the team. When I arrived at Milan, it was crazy, because the players they had there were the best in the world. And the only contact I'd had with them was from video games. I used to play with them on my games console when I was in Brazil the month before I arrived. And suddenly, I was with them every day. So it was great to learn from all those players, have that experience of being with them, and obviously to achieve so many things together at Milan. And the Brazilians' finest year to date was in 2007. Up until now, that's been the best year of my career. It was the year I won the Champions League, the European Super Cup, and the Club World Cup with Milan. I was awarded the Golden Ball as FIFA's World Player of the Year. It really was perfect, because football is a team sport, and I won everything I could with that team. And by playing a big part in those achievements, I received individual awards as recognition. It really was a very special year. Last season, Orlando City finished seventh in Major League Soccer's Eastern Conference, narrowly missing out on the playoffs. Last season, we were really close to getting to the playoffs, which was our main goal. So this year, this has to be our aim again, to make it to the playoffs. There are two different championships. There is the first round until you get to the playoffs, and then it becomes a different tournament. So it's much more difficult. At the first stage, you only have one game, and later you have two matches. This is what makes the end of our league different. So our main goal this season is to get to the playoffs.